On this walk and roll, we're foregoing the power of fire to sample some raw eats. Slice a fish into hundreds of translucent sheets. Chef, you spot any good ones yet? Oh, I every day have to cut it to see if there is any damaged fish. If there is any damaged fish, I can't use it. Now, what's the matter with the fish having a scar? Is it more like affecting looks or flavor or what? Oh, you see, like this, like this, it has a scar. Yeah, on the side of it. Yeah, yeah. I'll hold it for you. I'll hold it for you. Okay. With our perch in hand, we headed outside by the lake to see how important it is to have a blemish-free fish. With the scar on the outside, it's not just on the skin. It goes all the way down to the inside. It needs that kind of bloody, nasty bit, which is not probably what you want to have when you're eating raw fish. Quality has long been a problem when choosing fish for this dish for more than 2,000 years. Unlike the Japanese, who use sea cod fish, in China, river and lake fish have long been preferred. Over the years, as the waterways of China become less pure, the condition of fish has suffered as well. So this delicacy became less and less popular as other cooked cuisines developed and took hold. However, in fish number two, I saw one of pure, unadulterated whiteness. Bingo. This has been done with the fish. It has been done with the high temperature. You can see the fish is white and white. Nice and white. Now, what's the actual difference between this that has you know, the nice, pure, beautiful white with the one that has like, scars and imperfections? Is there like, a flavor thing or just looks? It's not good for the fish, and it's not good for the fish. And it's not good for the fish, and it's not good for the fish. Yeah, so this is the perfect one right here. Now, so now that you have the right slice, how do you cut it up? Where sashimi and sushi go for husky planks of fishy goodness, this variety slices the fish into these super tiny bits. Some uh, pretty small pieces. I mean, most of the raw fish I've seen is in these kind of fat, nice little chunks. Um, our fish and fish have a difference. The fish and the fish are very thin. Then our fish and the fish are very thin. But the fish are very thin. Yeah, that is thin. Yeah, that is thin. Yeah, that is thin. Yeah, that is thin. I mean, I've never ever seen a slice of fish this thin before. I mean, you can almost see right through it. This looks like a layer of jelly or something like that. It's like, you know, usually it's those fat little pieces. But this, quite the other thing. As I began to chew, I found it was much more mild than expected. A little too meek, if you ask me. I mean, honestly, it's like the flavor is not that strong. But what you're getting here is the mouthfeel of it. You know, usually with sushi, big fat pieces like this. But with this one, which is so thin, your teeth just go right through it. Sashimi and sushi may be the younger of the styles, but for right now, after this, it still seems like the sexier of the pair. Find out what a blackout drunk shrimp tastes like. All that and more on this walk and roll. I can do this all day.